Hi, uh, my name is Lauren Sabino. I'm so nervous. I've made this like five or six times now and I keep stopping because I'm like shaking and this is so weird. Hi. So nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. This feels like we're finally having our first date. <laughs> like what the internet's always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, nerds and hoes? It is I, William Haynes. What a wonderful day it is today. Such a beautiful life we have, isn't it? You know, in my lifetime, I've had a lot of crazy things happen to me. I even met Mike Shinoda on a Friday once. One time, even this happened to me. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we have, oh, okay, here we go. Hi, Hillary. Hello. I'm William Haynes, also a millennial. I know you like those. I do. <laughs> and, even one time, this happened to me too. Right. Ready? Over here, sir. Ready? Yeah. Young people, I love you. Yeah. What's your biggest issue with minorities right now? <laughs> None. And yeah, low key, one time I had an online stalker once, but she didn't try to kill me or anything, and I'm totally fine, so it's a great story. If you've been watching me for the past couple years, you've probably heard the term in before Lauren Sabino in the comments on my videos. Now all of this started six years ago, five or six years ago, when Lauren Sabino is saying she's in love with me. She's not talking about 2020, you know, like anime time skip William Haynes. She's talking about little boy William Haynes. Mm, baby, I love you so much and there's books all around us. Let me read to you. Oh shoot, that's so hot. William Haynes with the shirts like this and the, the ties that are too small for him. That's the William Haynes she's talking about. So if you Google Lauren Sabino, a few Reddit articles come up. I'm going to read them live to you here. OOTL, I don't know what that means. Who is Lauren Sabino from user Absent Islands? I stopped watching SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd for a while and restarted watching recently. Under nearly every video is this girl and she makes weird comments about Will and gets a lot of thumbs up and replies. I clicked on her channel and she even has a decent number of subscribers considering she's only a commenter. So who is she and what is her relevance? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Top comment by user Chili613, she's just a big fan of SourceFed and possibly Will Stalker. She seems nice. I think that comment sums up this entire situation. Another comment, in addition to the other answers already given, the main reason she blew up in popularity was because Will and the other hosts mentioned her in a few videos and she became a bit of an inside joke around the office with the fans, which of course made her more notorious in the comment section, hash in before Lauren Sabino. That and the fact that she consistently comments early on most SourceFed videos, especially when Will is in a vid. I'm waiting for the day that she reveals that she's actually a neck bearded dude and has been trolling us the whole time. Here's one of my favorite parts of the story. A lot of people for a long time didn't believe that Lauren Sabino is a real person. Kind of offensive that people think that it's impossible for someone to be in love with me. Like I get it, but she's real. Especially when Joe Beretta, at some point Joe Beretta tweeted, Guys, I'm sorry about all this Lauren Sabino comments. Sincerely, Lauren Sabino. P.S. I'm Lauren Sabino. I love Will. It's not true because Lauren Sabino made a video. Hi, uh, my name is Lauren Sabino. Hey. Uh, if you're watching this, I'm guessing you're subscribed to me, which is really cool considering I don't make videos. I'm so nervous. I've made this like five or six times now and I keep stopping because I'm like shaking and this is so weird to talk to my phone, but hi, hey. I'm guessing you know me from SourceVen. You weren't on and the I've show And I've had though. a lot of requests to make videos. I don't know if I'm going to, but if I do, my next one will be a Q and A. So if you want to ask me anything, you can on here or this on Twitter. This video has 30,000 uh, views. Which gets me to, if you want to see anything else from me, my handle is um, at LaurenSabino182. That's also my Snapchat, but if you want to personally talk to me, um, I suggest messaging me on Facebook. It's just Lauren Sabino. Uh, I guess that's all I have to say. I don't know what to say. I never planned on making videos. Um, wow. Turns out she's real. And uh, I honestly thought that, like, Lauren Sabino was done with, was over. I was like, man, she probably doesn't even like me anymore. You know, I did, like, make it so that she can't comment on any of my channels or anything. But still, like, you know, she didn't, like, try to send me an email. Uh, until a couple of days ago, those Valley dudes made a video 
about what the different source fed Tinder bios would be. And one of the top comments is about Lauren Sabino. Of course, this is my life. Joe Nell Vlog says, legend says Lauren Sabino still trying to swipe on Will. Ha 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 ha. And then user, why are people the way they are? Great username, commented, ran into her in the comments on another channel a while ago. She actually says she's over Will. <laughs> I, I just like, I don't know I, I, if she said that, you know, <sighs> like, I mean, I don't care. It, it's cool, like, you know, like, it's fine, you know, like, people change, you know, like, people, people's, cha people's taste changes and stuff, but, you know, like, why would she be saying that in the comments? I know I, like, borderline blocked you and stuff, but, like, why would you be saying that you don't like me anymore? I, I do a lot of working out. I do a lot. I do a, I exercise so much. So here, Lauren Sabino responded to the Valley Folk, and she said, uh... Don't believe my past lies. Unrequited love just hurts. But seeing that shirtless pick a will in this video, oof. Just keeping it real. Thank God. Like, they be so look, mad at you for telling this it truth. just hurts. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I, I really thought for a second, you know, I'm really thankful. So after I saw all of this, I was like, you know what? Like, you know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I didn't need to, to put, you, put you on block like that. I went on to, through this entire rabbit hole that I totally forgot about. I found all these Reddit posts and I was like, wow, there's a whole conspiracy theory here. And plus I found this video, another video she made where she, where she pretty much says she's not in love with me anymore. Hey guys, long time no talk. I've had a lot of people asking if I'm still alive, why I don't comment anymore. If I'm still in love with William Haynes, if I'm still in love with William Haynes, yada yada yada. I don't really interact with the guys from SourceFed. I used to talk to them a lot, not so much anymore. So if this is my last thing ever on YouTube, I guess thanks for all the attention. So I found Lauren Sabino's Instagram. <laughs> I could see it all at this point. I know everything that she's up to now. I could see. And I'm really offended by the fact that when I got on her page, she's not following me. Like, why don't, why don't you want to follow me, Lauren? Like, what is it that you don't want to see? Like, so I, I concocted a message. I said, hey, Lauren, life's crazy, huh? Hope you're doing well with what's going on. Kind of crazy seeing all the comments about you. Also hilarious, a lot of people didn't think you were real. <laughs> I wanted to make a video discussing this whole situation over the years, and I was wondering if you would be willing to do a Zoom call with me. I was so happy. Within one minute, she responded. So now, I have a Zoom call with Lauren, and she has the chance to defend herself from people who were saying that she's not real, that she's a neckbeard, and all those other Reddit posts, and I gotta find out the truth. Hi. So nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. This feels like we're finally having our first date. <laughs> what the internet's always wanted. <laughs> uh, it affected your life in, in many ways. That video that you made is so funny that it got so many views. Yeah, like 30, over 30,000 people watched that video. I was at a party, which was like, that was my first mistake, socializing. <laughs> but the Halloween party and I had like a cat face on and like a collar yeah. and someone was like, are you the William Haynes girl? Was like, this was like last year too. Like, wow. Are you in college now? Yeah, I mean, I'm 24, and I'm. I think you're only like a year or two older than me. Yeah, I'm 26. Uh, yeah, isn't it creepy? I know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm 24. I'm in college now. I'm an accounting major. Wow. I used to do zoology. I used to be a zookeeper, which I talked about with Elliot. My phone number got leaked on the internet. That was fun. That was probably, that's when I stopped. Wait, your phone number got leaked on the internet? Yeah, cause I had a lot of people, I made the mistake of not having an Instagram when it was the biggest. Cause like imagine how many followers I would have. <laughs> but I would have a lot of people on my Snapchat and on my Facebook. And I think I had my phone number on my personal Facebook information that like anybody could see. And some guy asked me to go on a date with him and he was from like England or something. And I was like, he was like actually crazy. I had a lot of that 
like a lot of people wanting me to be for them what I was with you. Like they re like I had a lot of stuff. Wow, like I totally of, believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of dudes. So my he I said no, politely declined that offer. <sighs> and he, the, he leaked my phone number all over the internet and it was scary. <laughs> oh my God. So I, I just quit commenting. I was just like, this is becoming like my real life now. That is insane. And then there were like fake accounts. I don't know if you can still do this. So people would copy my name and my picture and say the most like sexual raunchy oh stuff. Oh my God, yeah. Like it was, and the whole comment section was about me, not about the video or you guys. It was just like, and it was insane. Yeah. So I, I came across this tweet by you. Uh, I went to the conspiracy theory. I, I looked through it all and I was like, wow, people are- people oh, are Reddit threads about me. Yeah, it, it was, it's actually <laughs> insane. So I kind of wanted yeah. to apologize for that. I mean, I, 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 I it, was, it was more my fault, I guess. But it was the same idea as like a 15 year old having a crush on like someone in a band. And even Philip DeFranco, he actually, cause I commented on his videos too. And on Buzzfeed and whatever, it was just something I did. And he actually, com he left a comment saying like, hey, Lauren, Sabina, I know you get a lot of shit, but I appreciate the love you give us. Uh, like when Phil, like yeah. the dad of the whole thing has to like defend you. Yeah, I always have to be fucking careful with how we say stuff. Cause it's like, we can never get specific. That was the main issue that we had with like, with Will. I was like, I'm gonna get sued. With Will. With will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I'm gonna get sued. <laughs> With will, I was like, I'm gonna get sued. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I was just writing comments the way everyone else was. Mine just got a lot of attention. Yeah, and then there was also people who made videos about me. So that was separate, but there was you. Was his name Andre the Animator? Yeah, Andre, put you in source been animated. Yeah, he did that, and then there was a lot of memes, and then Joe did his thing. Steve tried to get me on a live stream. I did a live stream with Matt Lieberman. Oh my god! <laughs> it was a lot. I felt like an honorary member. Yeah. I felt like I did. <laughs> Raina Scully told me to tell you. She says hi. Hi. I wanted to talk about how it kind of is my fault in a way because you were talking to a guy on Twitter, probably in 2014. And you guys were talking in my mentions, and I saw that you guys were, and this was before any of the end before Lauren Sabino stuff happened, and I saw that he, you had said that your birthday was coming up. And you guys didn't know that I was reading your tweets, so I set an alarm in my phone. I didn't even know who you were, I just saw a random person. And I don't know if you even knew this. Stalking me before I stalked <laughs> What was your birthday? Probably like August or something. What was it? August 18th. It's coming up if you want to like keep the trip <laughs> I, I totally I, remember this. I Because I saw you guys talking and I was like, oh, this this girl, she seems like she really cares. Uh, she, and from that moment yeah. forward, the yeah. whole Lauren Sabino thing happened and I totally checked out. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, and it was definitely, it just got to the point where I was just doing it because that's what the people wanted. Like I had, there was zero effort I put into it. Yeah. <laughs> I would just write a comment within watch, like I watched the first two minutes of the video and would write a comment and then it just blew up. And then it was just kind of like, all right, time to make, time to write a comment. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just kind of like, oh, sure. So you're 24 years old now in the middle of the pandemic, what's next? Are you gonna make any more YouTube videos? No, I don't have anything to say. I'm like the most, I'm an accounting major. I have no personality. <laughs> I just watch a lot of Beef Bobby Flay and <laughs> that's it. Like, I don't, I have some tattoos. That's the, I remember people wanted me to do like a tattoo tag. tag. Or like piercings, I don't have those anymore, but. Oh, you <laughs> sure don't have the piercings anymore, huh? Wow. Cause working with animals, they all got <gasps> ripped out enough. Yeah. yeah. But wow. I still, I have 16 tattoos. That's probably the most interesting thing about me. Wow. Well, you know, it's been really nice talking to you. You're a great person, super <laughs> cute, not crazy oh, at all. You're cute as well. I think that's what it started, like, I did want to say that you're, you don't do this anymore, so I don't know if it was an act, but you had this, like, nothing matters, 
life sucks sense of humor. And I was like, that's my guy. Cause that's how <laughs> it's always been. So that's just, I think I just like, I thought you were really funny. You were like my age and I thought you were cute. Still like, <laughs> like have a crush on me. Or... Um, uh, you know, not really. If you're jealous, you should mind your business. I'm not <laughs> Perfect, thank you. <laughs> That's the most acting I've ever done. <laughs> Anybody want to smoke, I fire for me. Like I got the nomination, they bought for me. You don't want to see me rise like that. You don't want to see my bankrupt stacks. Jealousy in your tank, ain't no gas like that.